taking you down to Pinecrest today. We've uh, had a report of a tree that has fallen in the wind onto uh, the roof of one of our listings, which we've just uh, gotten a firm uh, deal on. So uh, the buyers are quite concerned that there's uh, this tree that's fallen onto the roof and the sellers have actually had it removed by a tree removal company uh, yesterday. But I'm gonna head down uh, in the snowy, snowy, uh, day here with lots of ice on the highway and head down south of Whistler and take a look at um, at What's going on with this tree? I want to just make sure there's no damage to the roof and if there is we want to just make sure it gets repaired before uh, The closing happens so everything's uh, handled for the buyers not my buyers um, Working with another agent uh, who's got uh, the buyers on this I represent the seller But it's really important that we take care of this and make sure that the closing goes really smoothly and the buyers are happy so uh, let's go down and uh, have a peek. So the Whistler at Pinecrest. So we're here at number 11 Ridge Drive in Pinecrest and I uh, can see the house here. You look behind me. Here's the tree right here. Actually, it wasn't a very big one, which is awesome. And uh, be a lot worse if it was one of these big ones like that. But uh, most of the trees here are not super big, and that one was a small one. Here's the corner of the roof right there. There's very little damage. Um, it does look like it's been bent a little bit, but also there is a hole in the metal right there. It looks like water could probably come in through that hole and then come down the fascia. Although the fascia here, these boards are not damaged at all. It's just a little bend in the roof, so it looks like it just kissed the uh, metal and then punctured a little bit of the metal there. I'll zoom in here for you. Pinecrest is a pretty cool area. It's actually south of Whistler by about 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes maybe from Creekside and Function Junction down to this area. So it's in between Squamish and Whistler, but I call it Whistler's Cottage Country because it's really cute. It looks like a cottage is in the woods somewhere and it's actually a gated community and it's right next door to Black Tusk. Black Tusk is its sort of sister property right next door to it. There's a gate uh, at both of them, so it's very private. And as you can see behind here, all of the lots at Pinecrest are all circles, which is really, uh, really quite cool. So that gives you some tree space in between each of the lots. And I say that Pinecrest and Black Tusk are sort of like Whistler's cottage country, mainly because of the lakes that are in this area. So there's some small lakes, really pretty. One of them uh, conjoins both Black Tusk and Pinecrest. And the cool thing about that is that there's some beaches, you can swim, there's a swim platform out there and some docks. And it's a really nice area for kids to hang out and families. So it's really beautiful here in the summer, but really private. And in the winter, as you can see, it's just a wonderland of snow and trees and uh, little homes interspersed throughout the forest. So it's a pretty cool area and I'm pretty glad that things worked out with this tree on uh, number 11 Ridge Drive at Pinecrest. And anyways, never a dull moment when you're a realtor in Whistler, isn't there? Glad it worked out and we'll talk to you soon.